As you guys know, I love my custom made belt. But I felt it deserved better leather. So I reached out to Snakebite Customs, placed an order, and I'm happy to report that my belt has made it back home. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Steven Hammer and welcome back to a brand new video. As you can tell by the title and the intro of this video, we're taking a look at my custom uh, hammer belt that was re-leathered by Snakebite Customs here in the USA. I love this belt, man. I really do. This has been my favorite custom belt that I've had made. And uh, now that I've got this thing re-leathered, it holds a more special place in my heart. So I want you guys to check out his leather and if you guys are interested in getting some work done for yourself, this is why I make these videos to educate and inform you guys of people out there that can do different types of leather and who can re-leather your belt and what price and how long you can expect uh, your belt to be gone until it comes back from leather. So again, Snakebite Customs here in the USA. Check them out if you haven't heard of them before. They have a Facebook, Instagram, and a website. Now let's grab my custom hammer belt and I'll show you guys in real time what it looks like on video. Okay, and here is my custom hammer championship belt. Before I talk about the leather, I do want to give a shout out to Samir Ahmed. He is the one who designed this belt for me a couple of years ago. Uh, he is a graphic artist. He makes stuff like this. He designed the whole belt for me. And then I eventually got the plates made overseas in Pakistan and then had it re-leathered by Snake by Customs. So, I just wanted to get that shout out out of the way. Samir, he's one of my favorite people in the belt hobby. He's a great graphic artist, a very kind guy. So shout out to him for designing uh, two of my belts that I've had made. So like I said, the plates are made overseas in Pakistan. Uh, they were made by SA Belts. I don't think they are in business anymore. I am not sure. I did restone this belt myself. I got the stones off Dreamtime uh, Creations, I believe, and just popped the old ones out and then just glued the new ones in. So the belt itself was sent to Ryan on October 19th, and it was delivered and back in my hands on Halloween, October of 31st. Now, you may not have that same quick turnaround time for leather as I did. Ryan was kind of like in a transition period right now where he was in the middle of taking orders and he didn't really have a lot going on. So he was able to make this belt in about a week and get it done and sent back out to me. So very, very fast turnaround time. Normally, he says it normally would take him about a month to finish an entire belt. So you, that's what you could normally expect. It's usually about a month or two for most leather guys. And uh, this one I absolutely adore. I love the way he tooled this. I asked for Midwest style tooling with the shell tooling going around the side plate right here and going down into the snap box. I would definitely use Ryan at Snakebite Customs again. Really, really nice guy. Of course, he's on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Love his leather work. Feels great. Nice and loose, but it feels strong. Still breaking it in. 
There's what it looks like over my shoulder. Leather folds up real easily. In the hands. So the price to re-leather my belt, fully re-leather this belt, was $300. He sent me an invoice on PayPal, and then I paid him that way. And like I said, within a couple of days, he had this entire strap done. He was posting pictures on his Instagram page, letting me know how things were going, how he's got the belt tooled out and then dyed and the plates on and all that stuff. Great guy, I cannot recommend him enough. I will definitely use him again in the future. I love his stamp on the end of the leather. Really easy to read. Some guys will put their, their autograph or their stamp on the end of the belt, and you're not quite sure what it says. This one, very easy to read. You know exactly who made the leather. Snakebite Customs. And uh, again, I cannot say enough good things about this belt. Again, this video is not about the plates themselves. This video is mainly about the leather. If you're curious about getting leather done and you're wondering who you can go to to get leather, again, he has a website, go check him out. As a matter of fact, here's more information how you can contact him. If you want to check out more of their work, they are on Facebook and on Instagram to browse their pages, or you can go directly to their website and look at the options they have available for send out straps. And it's really easy to make a purchase by adding to your cart and checking out as you normally would any other website. All right, let's do the snap test. See if everything lines up and snaps together. Okay. Uh, they do line up, but they are not snapping together. I mean, I might just have to work them in a little bit. I know sometimes if you get uh, new snaps, sometimes the belt does not want to snap together and you really just have to, to work it in a lot. They want to snap. Like, they, they line up because I can feel them lining up. Oh, I think one of them snapped. One of them snapped on this far side over here. They line up, but they definitely not all of them definitely do not snap up. I may just have to work those in. Yeah, they're really tough to try and snap in. But I will continue to try and snap these together, and I will let you guys know in a future video how it goes. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next time.